we're going to look at how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let's start over here on the left by converting this mixed number into an improper fraction. Now I'm going to show you the visual representation first and then we'll go through how you could use math to solve without using visuals. First, let's represent 4 and 2 thirds. As you can see, I have four whole circles and two-thirds of the fifth circle colored in. The way that we convert this to an improper fraction is we ask us how many total pieces are shaded in. And we do that by counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen pieces total are shaded and our denominator, well, it remains the same. So 4 and 2 thirds converted to an improper fraction, that's a fraction where the numerator is greater than the, than the denominator, is equal to 14 thirds. Now, there is a way that you could do this just using math, and I'm going to show it to you here. The visual representation is great to know because that's actually why it makes sense, but if you'd like, you could also use this method. When we have 4 and 2 thirds, what we could do is we could take our whole number, 4, multiply it by our denominator, which is 3, to get 12. And then what you can do is you could take that 12 and add in the numerator of 2 to get 14. And if you think about it, here's why it makes sense. If you remember our picture, we had four circles, one, two, three, four, that were each broken into three pieces that were all shaded all together, which gave us a total of 12 pieces. And then we took that 12 and we had to add in those two pieces on the fifth circle that were colored as well, which gives us our numerator of 14 and our denominator remains 13. Now over on the right, what we're going to do is we're going to convert 16 fifths into a mixed number. And the way we're going to do that is we're first going to represent 16 fifths visually. As you can see, I have different shapes, or the same shape broken up into five pieces for our denominator of five, and I have 16 total pieces shaded in. As I continue to count on, you'll see that there are 16 pieces shaded in. And now it's actually kind of easy to see what this mixed number will be. We have three holes that are all shaded in, so our whole number is three. And of this last piece, we have one out of five, making it three and one-fifth for the correct mixed number. Now again, there is a visual represent or there is a math mathematical way of converting from improper fractions to mixed numbers that you could use and that's simply to use division. 16 fifths, the fraction, is the same thing as saying 16 divided by 5. When we solve that, I could see 5 fits into 16 three times, and it has a remainder of 1. Our whole number is 3, our remainder is the numerator, and our denominator remains 5.